Hi Tigers, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and as you can see I am with Mimola, the famous Mimola Meow and we are going to be touring some of her absolutely incredibly detailed builds. Right now we are in one build that she's working on which is currently like a fall slash autumn build, whatever you want to call it, type theme and as you can see this build is just insane. Like I'm going to zoom out and just show you how much she's done of it so far but then we're going to be touring one of her most famous grinding houses and we're also going to be touring maybe in one of her houses depending on how big they are so yeah and also i've made a new halloween outfit so i hope that you guys like it rate it one to ten i have made multiple colors which i gave to some of my best friends and i might be giving away a halloween outfit to one of you tiger cubs very very soon so make sure to like and subscribe and comment your roblox username so you can come and join me and you can get one of these halloween outfits for free so we're gonna move on to touring her amazing grinding house so this is like currently her no like autumn house with pumpkins and stuff but we're gonna um like tour this amazing kind of like space galactic themed grinding house with lots of lights and rainbows and things so i think i've described it enough tigers we're now gonna move on to actually touring it and i hope that you tigers are enjoying the ocean update so far i definitely am i really like it how there's a new mini game that just makes it so so much fun and mimi here she has already got a mega of all of the new ocean pets i think i know she's definitely got a mega kraken because which is the legendary one because she showed me it and it's really really cute she grinded like all day when the update came out just to get mega of all of the new pets which i think is really really cool so yeah, and this is what the house, it's like um, one of these houses, but I think that this may be the space house, but if it's not the space house, we're going to be doing that one after. So yeah, let's start with this house though. Okay, this is not the space house, but we're going to save that one till after because it's kind of like the best house in my opinion. Um, but this one is still pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of got like a little retro type of theme. I'm liking all the pet displays around. I really like when people add pet displays to the house. I feel like it gives the house like so much more like, you know, like it just looks like people actually use the house, you know? So yeah, um, I'm just kind of like speed touring it right now because it's really cool. But I want to definitely show you the, um, the space house that I'm talking about because that one is really cool. But yeah, this is the kitchen and I really like it how all the details are here. And it's this one apparently, this one, Mimi actually told me, it's got a like hidden area. So you see, I don't know where she's gone. She just went somewhere. And I don't know where Mimi went. So I'm going to have to teleport to her because I don't know how to get to the glitch myself. So this is like the glitch area. And it's apparently like a little secret grinding area. As you can see, there's a lot of little grinding materials. And a little like bar. A lot of like pets that she makes herself, which is really cool. I think those ones there are meant to be the blazing lions. And she's got like smoke coming from the ceiling. I think that's really cool. But I think I'm going to try and find the way like up the glitch build. Yes. Okay. So Mimi just went up there. She just went up there and it says like go up. So you jump and then it takes you back up and you have to go into here and sit on a seat to get back to the area. So I think this is really cool, especially if you've never seen a house like this before. So now we're going to do the next one of her houses, which is so, so exciting. I think it's going to be the space house next. And Tigers, are you also excited for Halloween? Because I am definitely excited for Halloween. I mean, I don't know if it's too early for Halloween yet. I mean, I feel like a few weeks ago it was too early. But I'm not sure about now. I feel like now is kind of a good time to start dressing up in Halloween outfits. Which is why I've made a Halloween intro and I've made some Halloween outfits. But yeah, I've already seen this one of Mimi's houses, so we're going to move on to her space house instead, which is actually in a mushroom build. And I think that's really cool because I don't see many people going to drop me using the mushroom house. I really don't see many people. I don't even own one myself. So Tigers, this is the mushroom house. Have you ever seen it in game? Because I have obviously seen it in game, but not many times, like not many people use it. So yeah, um, I'm really glad that Mimi used this house because it kind of gives like a good reputation of this house like look at it look at this like it's so incredible and as you can see of a little bit of a glimpse there you just saw there's an aquarium in the ceiling there's just one word to describe this house and that is just absolutely absolutely incredible 
There's so many grinding materials and I know that Mimi makes a lot of her Meganeon pets in this server. And also Tigers, just so you know a little secret, Mimi actually is going to tell me in this video how she makes it look like she has four pets equipped and she's not like, you know, there's no ults next to her. So I'm going to show you and Mimi's going to tell me how you do that in this video. So I'm really excited for that because I have no idea. Um, and actually this house is just so cool i mean if anyone's gonna offer for this i would say it's worth so much like i don't even know how much it's worth but yeah this house is so so cool and look at this aquarium this aquarium is like it's insane like look at it look at all the cute pets and do i have to say how rich mimi is like oh my richness she is so rich I mean, like, she's got so many of these ocean pets, a mega jellyfish, mega turtle, mega shark puppy, all the mega exotics of the, like, ocean-themed pets, basically, like, the mega mini mackerel, the mega tortuga de isla, so many cool pets. I think it's just absolutely amazing. And in this house, like, the little aquarium area, it's just, like, another amazing addition to this house. It just makes it so much, like, cooler. And the door, the door is just so cool as well. I think it's, like, one of the little elevators that she was talking about before. I do think the elevators really are cool. And as you can see over here, there's, like, little rainbow lights changing the materials at the sides of the house. Like, next to the grinding area, there's, like, little changing colours, like, panels on the walls and stuff. So, that's really cool. And I think that she used a disco ball to get that effect. And these little butterflies she's put on the wall, some are her actual pets, but some are, like, the little um, outfit displays that she's just put butterfly wings on to make it look like a little accessory, a little um, decoration, which is really, really cool. Um, and yeah, she said I think there's some mega butterflies. Yeah, there is. She has put like a lot of her cute butterflies in this, in this house, including the mega neon um, galactic celestial summer moth, which is really, really cute. And yeah, tigers. So this is definitely my favorite house out of all the ones of Mimi's I've seen. I know it's probably not her biggest house, but I think it's definitely my favorite house because it's just so cool. And I've actually been in it to grind before and it's just really awesome to grind your pets in. It was probably so expensive considering how much grinding materials are. And Mimi has not just used building materials in Adopt Me, she also uses like, you know, UGC items that you can buy on Roblox and put on your avatar to use as like, um, you know, outfit displays to look like decorations in Adopt Me. So she's made like this little cake stand with really cute like cinnamon rolls and cakes on. And she said it's something to do with UGC, but I still don't even understand how she made those little cinnamon rolls on the cake stand. They're just so cute. And she's added like little plushies to her sofa as well, which I have no idea how she did that. But that's just awesome. And I thought that like I was a good builder, but I have no idea even how to use UGC items in builds. So I guess that I definitely do not know as much as Mimi. But, you know, I never thought I did anyway, because Mimi is just absolutely incredible at building. And I'm sure there's a of other incredible builders like Mimi in Adopt Me as well, but Mimi is definitely one of the most incredible builders I've ever seen in Adopt Me. So now it's time to talk about the glitch that basically makes you look like you've got four pets equipped in Adopt Me, and people are so surprised about like you know how people do this glitch because it just looks awesome. And when Mimi does it, she tells me that sometimes people come up to her and they're like, like, oh my, how do you do that? How do you have four pets equipped? So it really looks like really like they've actually got four pets equipped. But really, how she does it is she has an invisible outfit. So as you can see, Tigers, she's going to put the invisible outfit on this mannequin now and I'm going to buy it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Then I'm going to tell you how she makes it look like she's got four pets equipped. Okay, so she's put it on the display, and as you can see, it's completely invisible. And she's given it to me for free, so thank you so, so much, Mimi. So I'm just going to buy it, Tigers, and then show you how it looks like. I have never had an invisible outfit before, so I don't know if I... It's gonna, if you ride your pet, it's going to look like you are the pet, you know? 
So yeah, as you can see, I'm invisible now. I've got this invisible outfit on and I'm going to get out one of my pets and ride it and see what it's like. But basically how Mimi makes it, how she's got four pets equipped is she puts her old account riding on her back as a baby and then she puts the invisible outfit on her old account and her old account has the two times pets um, plus as well. So then she equips two pets on her old account and two pets on her main account because she also has the pets plus. So if her old account is invisible, it just looks like she has four pets equipped by the side of her. And I once joined her and she had two mega cows out and two mega bears out, which was really, really cool because I actually thought she had four pets out and I didn't know how she did it, but now I know. So that is really, really cool Mimi. So thank you so much for showing me that. And I just think it's kind of weird as well, Tigers. Like I never thought you could have an invisible outfit. Mimi knows so many of these glitches and I don't even know how. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, Tigers. And if you did, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. And also remember to comment your Roblox username because I'm going to be giving some Halloween outfits away. I spent a long time, I spent uh, like multiple hours just making so many Halloween fits because I was going to give them to my besties. And I also thought I might give one away to one of you tiger cubs. So I'm going to be doing that. So I really hope that you're excited tigers. And I really hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye tigers.